the, the move for kind of banning lethal autonomous weapons is all about, or at least as I see it from my point of view, is making sure that a robot will never take that decision to kill on its own. A fully autonomous system where a human is outside of the loop, where a robot, based on a preset algorithm, based upon perhaps someone's location, their metadata off their phones and their computers, um, will choose to kill a person and then send a receipt back to an operator saying, oh, I did this. Perhaps we should check and make sure they were the right person. That should never be the situation in war. There should always be somebody who's making that decision, a human in the loop of operations. Now, aircraft can be automated and they can be autonomous or semi-autonomous, um, but a human should always be there in the loop of decisions, making sure that the strikes are hitting the right target. A almost automated ability to preset a drone's final destination, then yeah, definitely. And it's not just something that's available to a state actor, but it's also available to a non-state terroristic or insurgent actor as well. One of the things that we've seen emerging most recently is the capability um, to download um, software and high-end apps, often for free and open access, that allow anyone, me or you, to buy a number of drones online from an online retailer um, to program them through our computer and then to select all of our drones that we have and then to allow them with a click of a button to all take off at once and then to the click of another button towards a final destination that we want to send them to without us being in the room, without us being outside, without us seeing the drones in flight, the drones will go along a preset flight path and end at that final destination. So, yeah, um, that autonomous capability, if you will, although perhaps more automated, is most definitely achievable now for all of us. Well, um, I mean, there's some interesting work um, conducted by people like Professor Caroline Kennedy Pipe in the UK um, or Michael Horowitz in the US that um, suggests that, of course, the public are slightly um, disquieted about the use of drone systems, but also the use of autonomous drone systems. Under what circumstances should they be used? And it seems like public support isn't quite there yet. Um, whether they're used for defensive or even offensive purposes. Surveys have shown that people don't quite trust this technology. Maybe it's the terminator factor. We don't trust robots to do these things. And, and that seems quite valid. So as long as that remains, and I don't know if it will remain, this public aversion, then you know, that's how governance should work. You listen to the people, right? So hopefully that public pressure, as long as it continues, will uh, yeah, push for some sort of uh, reform or change. I think that warfare will become increasingly autonomous and I hope that we keep humans in the loop of all decision making, um, although I'm not entirely sure that we will. I mean, I would like to see increased regulation on um, high-end commercial goods because drone-related systems such as um, the, these, these you know, high-tech apps and um, algorithms and preset software, but also thermal imaging cameras and so on and so forth. They really do add to the potency of the drone threat. And they're widely available because we want to harness the good that drones can bring, and they really can bring good, but we have to do it in a measured and considered way. Because if we don't, you will erode the public's trust in these systems, um, and we won't be able to embrace them. So we need to consider more regulation on those commercial aspects, and of course we need to invest more and more in our counter-drone capabilities. I, if I'm honest, I think that um, in our globalised world, these systems will always be able to get through. But um, increased checks at the borders or through our ordering of goods online, um, perhaps even licences for some of these high-end systems. There are ways that we could, just little ways that we can improve um, the security around, around these, these, these high-tech capabilities. Yes, but hopefully not so much of a, um, a widespread and potent threat.